Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can uh, perform a qualitative data analysis uh, within Matomo Analytics. So as you know by default Matomo Analytics is mostly a quantitative data analysis platform. So it's here in order to tell you uh, what people are doing on your website in terms of behavior. But it's not telling you if they enjoy their visit, uh, if they like your website, if they like your product and services. And for this, we need to rely on qualitative data analysis. In a previous video, I was explaining you how you can uh, embed a link on your website um, to uh, send this visitor to Lime Survey, for example, which is a qualitative data analysis software, and then um, that you can, of course, analyze the data afterward. But uh, with this solution, you have like Lime Server on one side and Matomo on the other, and you don't have everything linked within Matomo Analytics, not everything in, in one Matomo. You could, of course, technically implement um, Matomo Analytics on Lime Survey and then sending data to, to Matomo, but it's just going to take you a lot of time, okay? Um, there's another solution which have been developed by a company named Digitalis through uh, Thomas uh, Pearson, who is the, the main developer um, of this plugin. And this plugin is named User Feedback. I really like the idea of having a plugin like this because it means like creating your own live survey within Matomo Analytics and register uh, what people think about your website within Matomo Analytics straight away. I really like it because it's cool. It's like uh, making Matomo Analytics to exactly what it should be at the end of the day. So giving you the answer to the issues that you have. I like as well the idea because it shows that as an open platform, everyone can contribute and can even develop their own business model. Uh, typically this plugin, I'm just going to make a basic introduction to it because to me it's like, <laughs> if we go within it, it's like a three hour uh, training to do. So it's it's really a complete uh, plugin which has been developed. It will be soon issued on the marketplace. So you will be able to uh, take it, uh, purchase it from the, from the marketplace. Um, so as you can see on install, what's going to happen is that you're going to have a link over here next to the tag managers, just to explain you as well, it's a big piece. Uh, if you click on this, uh, this is uh, what you will get. So you have the possibility to create some forms, some form template to manage the form template and manage the forms. Um, if I just go on uh, manage form template, probably you will, you will see the thing. So, uh, here's probably the techie part. So it's based on, uh, as you can see, a JSON uh, format here on which you can precise what kind of type of questions that you would like to ask to your uh, visitors. So for example, here it's a rating system on which you can select a five star um, uh, scale. And, and you have as well, of course, uh, long form field, uh, long text fields. Um, I mean, any kind of things that you would expect within a form, you have it within this given uh, uh, given plugin. Uh, here it's named uh, it's name templates. Okay, uh, I guess that, so of course you can create your, your forms over here, you can manage your forms uh, and so on and so forth. I guess that uh, what you guys may be interested in is uh, seeing how it looks like at the end of the day. So um, if I look on my Matomo, is that the one? Yes. Okay, uh, this is what's going to happen. So uh, you're going to implement, I'm going to talk about this later on, but you're going to implement the form on your website. People are going to answer on it. Then uh, you have the possibility to push an event in order to say, okay, this visitor use uh, the user feedback form. And what's going to happen over here, you're going to collect, in fact, um, all the answers. So here you get, for example, uh, the answer for this um, question which has been asked to the to the visitor in order um, to deploy the form so in the previous screen that i was showing you that's the place on which you are creating the form that you want once uh, you have selected the form that you want once you create it once you take a template you need to implement it on uh, the website uh, that you wish for this uh, you will go over here within the tag manager and this is where it's kind of super cool because they really uh, 
make it like a full bundle stuff. I mean, it's already have the template, which is already available over here. So you just need to select the template and then it's gonna automatically fetch the different template that you created on the admin part that I was showing you. So you can easily just grab the one that you want um, and then just select when you would like this um, uh, form to be triggered. So that's the general trigger. But you can also decide where you would like to insert it on your page. So as far as you have your tag manager on the page, you can then decide to um, fire or at least to display the form wherever you want on your website. So as far as the container is on the page, well, you, you don't need to put your hands dirty within the code or anything like this. Uh, you can redo your analyst job as, as usual. You can even add your own custom CSS and let's say make the, uh, the form as fancy as you want. I'm just going to show you the one that I previously created. It's a basic one, but just for the introduction. Uh, so I select the new info simple here. Um, I just decided there's going to be an overlay. So to say it's not going to be inserted within the HTML code. It's going to be like an extra, uh, an extra layer I did on the page and, and that's it. Um, and this is, this is all I did. So here is my uh, web page uh, on which I embed uh, the the tag match so you can you can see it over here and what's gonna happen is if I refresh my page I will get exactly what I want so the page is loaded and then I'm getting this form uh, which is coming from the plugin on which I can just say okay uh, did you find what you were looking for let me say yes uh, I was super uh, happy I can click here on okay and say like okay. so all you have seen here is um, the result of um, the form template, uh, which was uh, formerly created. And now I can, within my, uh, my Matomo, in fact, just uh, see the result of all those data. So here you see, you see, I said, yes, this is the number five. And I'm getting as well the information that this visitor uh, converted uh, again as a um, and make an event. So th that's really what those guys and digitalists succeed to do. It's like uh, creating the own Lime survey. Of course, it's not as advanced as Lime survey, but it doesn't need to be as advanced as Lime survey. But to be able to create uh, a survey uh, system within Matomo Analytics, to be able to fire this given survey uh, through the tag manager, and then to be able to pass all the data to Matomo in order for you um, to be able to analyze them. So to make Matomo a quantitative plus qualitative data analysis software, uh, this way that's, that's wonderful. And this is why I strongly uh, recommend you to, uh, to have it a try. I mean, the, the best thing is, of course, on each time when it's like this, is you contact uh, the people who developed uh, the plugin and uh, you just uh, ask them for a demo or uh, you can even ask them to, I don't know, like having like a 30 day trial period and see if it suits your expectation. But that, that's really cool to have uh, those two things combined here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.